Hola hey, chicos, ¿cómo están? Hello. So we're here with episode 8 of Lee Manor and I just watched the other episode and they, um, the, the woman of the lake, she grabbed uh, Danny. I hope she doesn't kill her. I hope so. So, I don't know. I'm stressed and I just want to keep watching. So, let's do that. That was freaky. That was freaky. The way she's grabbing her, oh my god. That's freaky. I don't like that. The middle of the 17th century. <gasps> Kate! Seagull! Lived in the province of Hampshire. <gasps> a widowed gentleman. Oh! Uh, okay, wait, she, is she the... Take the liberty of calling him Mr. Willoughby. A name like his own. Is she the, the woman in the lake? Sound. He'd been left a Maybe. After some six years. The elder of Byron. <gasps> I the love her. In memory of a little girl born between them. Who had lived but a few weeks. Mm. With her father in the ground, they faced a dire necessity for marriage. Women in that time had nothing. No present, no future, without a tie to a man. So there were little girls once more. But now with nothing in the world but each other. Several devoted swains and some two or three who enjoy the reputation of universal charms or conquerors but Viola knew them for what they were gluttons opportunists <laughs> vultures yeah vultures poised to pick the carcass of their father to pillage his wealth via his daughters no Lyne must stay in the family and the sisters must stay in control lest everything be lost to the same grave Thus, led to Viola's invitation to a distant cousin, one Mr. Arthur Lloyd. He was in reality no paragon. He was an honest, resolute, intelligent young man, rich in pounds sterling, in his health and comfortable hopes, and his little capital of uninvested affections. So they were Viola had distant cousins and they had to marry each other? This left Perla to, to entertain the travelled cousin while Viola bowed her time, and in doing so learned he was a gentleman. He had a handsome face, he had studied and travelled, he spoke French, he played the flute, and he read verses aloud with very great A catch, taste. such a catch. Are they falling in love? Just began to feel the stirrings of a true interest in the young man, Viola explained she was late because of a dispute over uncollected rents. Some see an opportunity in her father's passing. Oh, he hadn't assumed she knew how to keep the books. The sweat from her ride, the wildness of her hair, the business, the books, the riding boots oh. in the foyer, even the portrait hanging beyond, commissioned by Violence, part of a true message to Arthur. He may marry her or marry her sister, but there should be no mistake in the true authority of Bly Manor, nor the way things will be done. Oh, who married him? That it was the oh, she, he married the Viola. Comes Perlita, who had always enjoyed the comfort of her birth station. You love and you cherish. And they killed him afterwards? <laughs> or what? To have and to hold and to stay folded. Better for worse, for richer, or in sickness and in health. <gasps> to love, cherish. Till death must depart. Her her accent. And obey. To love. She's cherish. not British. And obey. What is she gonna do? The transaction done, the business concluded, the manor saved, young Viola turned her eyes inward. She would sleep. She would wake. Perhaps it was the room, she'd think. It was her mother's room, her parents' bed and now hers, seized by a restlessness new to her heart, she would walk, she would sleep, 
she would wake, she would walk. Mm. So she would walk at night. Perhaps it was something else. Some that way the footprints, and she went to the lake, and she walks at night. Oh, they had a baby. Do I be honest to you? They never tried to take it from you as they did me. But I will not let them. Easy. It is me. It is us. Oh, it is you, it is me, it is us. That's what they said when they possessed them. But she let the sister kind of to the Those side. The rosy times. So, what born. happened? As for Viola, <laughs> her suspicion began as small, as inconsequential as the tickle in her lungs. Oh, she got sick. Viola had an inordinate love of dress and all manner of expense. Some as rare and rich as if they were spun of threads of jewels. All passed through her cunning hands without a word of boast coming from her lips. She looks great in that. God. But she's sick. No. <laughs> That's creepy. So she's isolated. It is not the plague. Oh, thank God. <sighs> but it is not good news. She has the lung. What does that mean? How long? What, what does that How mean? How long? Months. Months at the most. And I would keep her separate from the rest of them. So she died. Um... No, I want to be in our bed. You can't love. I want to be in our bed. Think of Isabel. Yeah. Okay, she's there too, you know. She cares. I don't like that the sister was kind of like left aside. That sucks. Oh, are those leeches? What does that do? Oh god. Oh. Mm. Say the words after me. I go and prepare a place for you. And I will come again and will take you to myself. So that where I am, there you may also be. Sister, let us try again. I go and prepare a place for you. No. What <laughs> did you say? No. I do not go. So tell your God. Oh. <laughs> I like her perseverance. I know that you must repeat the rites. You tell them, sister. You tell this priest and the god he forms upon. You tell them me. God wants her soul to be pure. She welcomes her heart. God should know better. She is as he made her. She says she will not go. She will not. Yes. I love this. I love this. And then... Isabel? Five times round the sun, and always different. Isabel, but it is time for her to bed. Just one. Good sir. Are they gonna fall in love? So the little girl grew up, and she's not dead yet. How long can tuberculosis last? Need music. Oh no 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 no! no. Just one. So they fall in love, but the sister is not dead yet. But she's still alive. Is the mother gonna appear there and see them dancing? Yeah. Viola had surpassed the predictions of the physicians and priests alike. Held alive, some would whisper by stubbornness alone. Mummy, you're awake! Isabel, you know you must not get too close to Mummy, darling. Vi, what are you doing out of bed? You'll catch a chill. I didn't want to miss the ball. I don't want tea. I want to talk to my daughter.
Okay, that was not nice. So she thinks she's like taking her family. I hate that they're fighting. I apologize. No need. I can dance with anything. I know. I can dance with my own husband. <laughs> I don't need you to take that on. That or anything else. I would never. She's not trying to. <laughs> Sleep well, sister. I mean, if it happens, it happens, but it's like, this is not life for any of them. Oh, will away. Why do they all sing that? Yeah, why do they, like, how is that song connected to Flora, her, and the one that is narrating the story. The Lady of Bryla. I've no ambition. Lie, Bryla. I don't lie. <clears throat> if he looks at me now and then, it is because he is lonely and he is human. It is because for the last five years he only has one of duties. Don't miss that with me and me. But it's true. It's true. Don't punch her. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not alone. You should think of her, Vi. Think of Isabel. What will she be left with? What memories of you will she carry? Will it be this? This version of you? Because Viola would not let it be anything else. Stop punching her. <gasps> what the fuck? Just before the sixth year, Viola's living death. She saw into her room all of the jewels and clothes she had accumulated in her days before the sickness. God. Okay, she's a she's an idiot. I love Kate. Like she's she looks great, even dead. <laughs> but like the character. She's she's an asshole, but God. It would be a great inheritance for our daughter. So you will keep them and watch them for her till she grows into them and shrouded, covered in rose petals. Promise you what? Promise me that you will keep them for her, that you will keep the key, and you will never give it to anyone except our child. For that night, Perdita beheld her sister. A thought occurred to her. The word had come to her a full year prior, and like the tickle in Viola's lung, it had grown in the secret places. The word had eclipsed her thoughts at night and waken as well. The word began in her chest as the sickness did for Viola. It had spread, insisted, a whisper in her ear, in her mind entire. And now the word crept down her shoulder and her elbow until the word came to live in her hand. The word was mercy. And the word was a lie. Because it wasn't mercy on her mind or her heart. She killed she her. Moved her hand. As if she struck every insult and every day that had passed, every moment after the last. It was a different word that had infected her all this time. The word was not mercy. She realized in the end. Revenge. No, the word had always been enough. <laughs> enough. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much a person can take. Yeah. But how, like her ghost, how did it stay in Bly? Like. Arthur boys believe in so it's cursed or what? 